Hey guys, um, welcome back. I know this is a little off, a little early since my last video, since it was like two days ago. But um, I have some stories this time for you instead of video clips. Um, just kind of a bit of an explanation of my life here in Germany so far. It's going to be an interesting ride, so hold on. Um, first thing I want to talk about is laundry. Everybody hates laundry, okay? It, no matter who you are, it's a pain in the butt. You have to sit there and you have to wait for it to dry and you have to wait for it to wash and you have to fold it and everything. Well, here's my laundry story. So, um, it's been about a week and a half since I've been in Germany, so I've gotten a small pile of clothes built up as well as my new bed, blanket, and towels and things like that. And I finally got up the nerve, went to the market today by myself, and went and got myself some... Laundry cleaner, detergent, stuff. And decided to do a load of laundry. Now, every dorm building has laundry in the basement of the stairwells. You just have to go down forever. So I finally packed up my huge basket full of clothes and stuff and I grabbed a notebook and my books, a couple of things to keep me busy while I go down there and headed down. I get down there, find the laundry room and the dry, the washers, are teeny they're like little box washers okay so I can fit two towels and a hand towel in there before it's like overwhelmingly tight think, okay this is a terrible you know it's a pain and I'm looking around and I realize there's no dryers there's a bunch of wires from the ceilings that you're supposed to hang your clothes on because there's no dryers I'm thinking oh okay that's even you know worse crappy no big deal I can deal with this so I throw a load in and I'm trying to figure out the German instructions for how to, which wash load to do, which things to put in, how long to put it in, and I, I click start a couple times and this message keeps popping up and the machine won't start and I'm like, ugh, oh, you know, like this is a pain, what am I supposed to do? So I trek all the way back up to my apartment to get the Wi-Fi so I can translate what the machine is saying. I translate it and it says, can't start load until payment. And I'm like, oh, of course, it's college, you know, you have to put in quarters to use your washing machine. So I grab my little jar of, of euros and coins and things, and I head back downstairs, and I look at the machine, there's no quarter machine in the machine, I think that's weird, and I finally spot it on the wall a little ways away. And I'm like, okay, I can do this. It's not a coin machine, it's a card machine, and it's a specific card machine for an inter-something card. So not only do I have to pay to do my laundry, but I have to figure out where the heck I'm supposed to find this specific card to use to put in the machine so that my tiny little washer can wash a few loads of clothes at a time so I can then hang them up to dry and wait forever and a day for them to dry before dragging them all the way back up here, which let me remind you is like three flights of steps um, to finally wash, or not wash, to finally fold them. This is a pain, so I gave up on that today. I'm going to figure out how to do that another day when I have more patience. Now, many of you guys have, many of you guys saw my post on Facebook mentioning how I was screamed at in, well, I was yelled at in the market by um, the cashier. Let me explain this. So, uh, markets here are a little weird. You think like a grocery store, you know, you have a bagger and a checker and everything and you put them through and then you do your payment. Well here there's only a checker. There's only somebody who scans the items and then asks for your money. Thinking that's not a big deal. I can do that. So I put everything through, you know, and she scans it all really, 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 really quickly and then just kind of throws it to the side and I'm like, oh that's weird. They don't give you bags here. You have to buy your own bags. So I'm like, okay, I can do that. And I buy some bags to go with it. She gives me her total and I give her the money and she gives me money back. And I'm like, okay, now I have to bag everything up. But if you don't go fast enough, they start grumbling at you and they start getting angry and start muttering at you. All, of course, in German, which I don't understand. All I know is this lady was very angry at me as I'm trying to throw all of my groceries that I just bought into these bags that I just bought to carry all the way home. And it was a little nerve-wracking, let me tell you. You've never been yelled at in German? It's pretty scary. <laughs> um, that's my wonderful experience at the market. Today I went and I managed to get 
all my stuff bagged before I was yelled at. So I'm feeling pretty confident in my abilities right now. Um, the nearest market to me is called a Reba. It's about two blocks. Um, oh, here's another interesting thing about markets. Uh, so everybody, you know, when you go grocery shopping, you grab a cart because carts are important to so you can throw all your stuff and you don't have to carry stuff around the store. Well, carts here, you don't just grab one and go in. You have to put a coin in the cart to then unhook the cart from its rack and then use it around the store. And then when you're done, you can put it back and you get your coin back. Um, it's really weird. It's like handing a person $2 to take a grocery cart to come back so they can give you your $2 back really weird but it's livable um people here are also very probably as you can tell from my last story people here are very um harsh when you first meet them this sounds like a little stereotypical like you think of the angry german and stuff but when you first get to know people they can come off as very rude and very blunt a couple stories to to um explain this um Let's see, which one is my favorite so far? Okay, so I was with Marissa and Alex the other day. We had gone grocery shopping in a market, and we were putting the cart away, getting our little $2 coin back, and there was a man that was passing by some women who were standing near the carts, and he starts grumbling at them, you know, no big deal, and wanders around them, puts his cart away, and leaves. And Marissa and I, of course, don't speak German, but Alex does. So as we were walking away, he looked at us and he said, Do you, did you guys hear what they said or what she, that guy was saying? And we were like, no, of course not. Like, we don't speak German. He said he was grumbling that they were in his way and that they were gossiping too much in his way. And he told them to go find somewhere else to go talk. And they were just telling him that they were doing their thing. Which is really interesting. Like, if somebody's in your way, you know, where I'm from, you just kind of like get annoyed and you move on. But here, people are very open to say things to your face and say, hey, you're in my way, or hey, you're being annoying, or things like that. It's pretty shocking to see over and over the different kind of things that happen. Like, I stepped on a lady's foot on accident, and she started going off at me in German, and I'm just like, I'm sorry, you know, like, a schuldigung, that's the only thing I know how to say, is please excuse me. Um, so it can be pretty frightening, but once you get to know people, like, their whole demeanor changes. I met a lady in the ward, in my LDS ward here, who was really kind and was able to take me to get some groceries and to get my lovely bedding and everything. And she's a really great woman, but if you meet these people, they have a very angry face, like an angry resting face um, that people just commonly have here, um, which can be really offsetting. Speaking of bedding. So bedding here was a little shocking to me because when I think of sheets, I think of the mattress cover and then another blanket that goes on top of that that you get in between the two. They only have the mattress cover here, which isn't weird. The weirdest thing about bedding here is the pillows. This is a pillow. Okay, like, it's huge. These are normal pillows. This is everything that came in my bedding. Like, I went through trying to find normal square pillows that are like half the size. No, they're these huge squares. And let me tell you, I am very specific about my pillows. Like at home, I have like eight pillows, but here I only have this huge square. And let me tell you how hard it is to sleep on one of these things. It is so weird. There are a lot of weird things here. There's the water, there's the people, there's the transport system, there's the sidewalks, bikes versus walkers. It's just, it's very shocking. I definitely have culture shock here and I, I'm constantly amazed by everything around me. There's so much going on and there's so much greatness, but there's also a ton of really nerve wracking stuff for people who don't speak German. So my goal this week before orientation starts next week is to learn a couple of phrases so I can get around town so I can say more than just a shoulder young every time I run into somebody. Um, because that happens a lot because of who I am. But I have a lot to do and I have a lot to learn so wish me luck.